Okay, brief update today. We started dosing cycle two of the regimen with the new drug, Reflamid, in the picture. So we have now the Velcade sub-Q injection, we have the Reflamid, and we have the Dexamethasone. Again, just a, a little bit more clarity on, on these chemo agents. The sub-Q injection, the Velcade, has been with us September 28th. It will continue through the cycles. It is the targeted chemotherapy for multiple myeloma abnormal plasma cells. It's, it's a proteasomase inhibitor going after that enzyme inside the cell, which breaks down excess proteins in the cell. By inhibiting this enzyme, these proteins build up and essentially explode the cell, a cell suicide, if you will. That term is apoptosis. So that's how this targeted therapy works. It's like a special ops group, and it's been being sent in there to take care of directly the multiple myeloma abnormal plasma cells. The other two agents, the Reflamid and the Dexamethasone, act synergistically as immunomodulators, meaning they're affecting the NK cells, the T cells, which are the killer cells, and upregulating, downregulating things, which actually, again, help your own body fight the abnormal plasma cells. So that's how that works. And the dexamethasone not only is acting synergistically, uh, actually contributing some little bit of this apoptosis to the to the uh, um, to the mix but it's helping alleviate some of the side effects. Now my side effects, I wanted to give a couple of days on the Friday dosing that we started so I'd have a feel if the Reflamid added some more side effects uh, that I need to be aware of. So far I haven't experienced anything different than previous. My biggest four side effects are marked as, as you see there. Fatigue, general fatigue, and it can be massive at times, and it hits you like a wave. Usually, and that it comes as the dexamethasone wears off. You know, that steroid kind of bounces you in and, and masks some of the side effects of the, of the um, chemo, and then when that wears off after a couple of days, you, get, you kind of get hit with this fatigue. And you can't, it, it, with dexamethasone, you have difficulty sleeping. So you have difficulty sleeping, you have fatigue, you have... Uh, I can get a massive headache, again, probably most likely from the, from the Velcade, uh, and some muscles, joints, aches, and pains. Those are my big four that I say are my, are my side effects. Not unusually bad as far as I know, but if you, if you, guys, um, you guys can comment, uh, please, uh, what your chemo is and what your side effects are. But I think that in, overall it's very tolerable. Uh, there can be some peripheral neuropathy, some tingling in the hands and feet with these drugs. I've experienced nothing, nothing like that. Constipation, uh, bowel movements have been good, no abdominal pains, nothing like that. Nausea, vomiting, nothing. So uh, it, some of the more serious ones or uh, make it more difficult, I have not experienced so far. And that's a great, great sign. So we just cross our fingers on that. So that's all I have for today. Uh, next week, I'll probably get a little bit more into the bone marrow donor program and what all that entails. But for now, just know I'm going forward here. We're on cycle two with this new regimen, and we're just going to keep fighting and keep going after this thing. So again, stay with me here. I like having you on board. We'll talk again soon. Ciao.